What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Ritter Aviation. Hope you're doing a fantastic day today. And today we're going to be taking a look at my 1 to 400 scale international fleet. I really hope each and every one of you are excited for today's video. And without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started. As you can tell, this fleet has grown significantly. It's been one of the focal points of my 1 to 400 scale model aircraft collection over the last several years. And that has certainly paid off. We have so many new airlines, new regions, and just overall so much to cover with this fleet now. And I'm really excited for this. And I hope each and every one of you are as well. So we won't waste any further time and get started. We are going to start here in Europe with British Airways that'll take us all the way through Europe then we'll head to the Middle East with some of these aircraft and then following that we will then head on to uh, Australia followed by kind of the Gulf area and then we'll round it out with some of the uh, China Japan Airlines and then we'll have some South America's at, at the end as well so really hope all of you are excited for this let's not waste any further time and go ahead and get started here we have this British Airways Airbus 819. JJ Skippy was looking for somebody to buy this, so I uh, vowed in for that, and it certainly worked out really well. So definitely cool aircraft, and definitely really glad to have that one right there. Uh, certainly very glad to have a Concorde in my collection. It is this British Airways example. It is quite a nice aircraft, and Jim Legends did a very good job on it. So definitely very glad to have that aircraft right there. We have a British Airways Boeing 787-10. I've honestly uh, not got a chance to use this too much because obviously DFW now gets the A380 regularly. So definitely will keep it though. I'm sure it may be back to this at some point, but overall a cool model to have and definitely really glad to have that one. One of my favorite aircrafts growing up when I was younger was this British Airways Boeing 747-400. That's why I have an aircraft of it. I did have a model previously. It broke, so I had to get a replacement. Very glad to have this one. It is absolutely awesome, and it looks terrific. So that's quite an awesome aircraft right there. And the very special ones, this British Airways Airbus E380-800. This is a beautiful aircraft. Very, very special one. I've seen it so many times. So certainly very delighted to have this in the fleet. It is a true asset, and really glad to have that one right there. We have two Iceland Air Boeing 757s. We have the Hecla Royal in the... The 80th anniversary aircraft both those are awesome rotational pieces for the model airport both liveries look incredible i've seen i believe just heckler royal but they're really awesome and definitely really glad to have them in the fleet right here for virgin atlantic next we have these two aircraft we have an airbus e340 600 and a boeing 787-9 by jet hut those are really cool aircraft and definitely glad to get to feature them here in the fleet so they definitely serve their unique purposes and overall, really glad to have both of those. Two, Air, two Aer Lingus aircraft, excuse me. We have an Airbus E321neo and an Airbus E33300. These are really awesome. Glad to have both of these with Irish heritage. So definitely would want to pass this up for the world. They are awesome aircraft. So overall, those look really good right there. Here's an Air France Boeing 787-9. Very glad to finally have Air France here in the collection and quite fitting for the Dallas Fourth International Airport. This is a beautiful aircraft and definitely really glad to have it here in my fleet right now. So that looks really awesome right there. We have a Condor Airbus E339 Neo. Uh, really glad to have this one. It looks really cool with the green stripes. So overall, I think this is quite a quality addition right here. And I'm certainly really excited to see if I can finally use it in a real life model airport at some point, but definitely will be great for the fictional airport for the foreseeable future. So definitely really happy about that. The Lutonza fleet certainly expanded significantly over the last several years. Uh, I believe we went from having just one aircraft in like 2019 to now five, and I'll explain each one here. So here we have this Boeing 77-9. Of course, this comes to DFW all the time, so this is a uh, no-brainer, need to have it. So definitely glad to have this one right here. And then we have this Lutonza Airbus E3-3300. So that was the very first aircraft I got because this came to DFW rel relatively consistently until this bad boy, the Lutonza E340-300, uh, started coming in quite a bit. So of course I got the standard livery one. And then we also have the Airbus E350 now in my collection for sentimental value and how many times I've seen it. I'm also sure it might come to Dallas at some point. So overall, I thought that made sense. And then of course we have the Star Alliance Lutonza E340-300. So very special aircraft for how many times i've seen it for a special livery they have like three or four of these so between dallas denver and everywhere of chicago it's just too good an opportunity not to get it and i'm so glad to have it so all these lutons have certainly served their purpose very well so of course we started with the a330 then expanded to the 340 followed by the 787 and then the 350 for sentimental value and of course now the star alliance 340 so glad to have all those i really want to get a 747 i might just because i mean i really don't need the aircraft and probably need to prioritize new airlines i don't have but it's just so tough so what can you do when you like all these aircraft we do have a swiss airbus e33200 this is quite a cool aircraft and definitely have to, glad to have swiss represented in my collection a fin air airbus e35900 this is quite a beautiful aircraft by ng i've been borrowing wi-fi boxes for it so that's why it's not here in this particular example but overall looks really good and definitely very glad to have it 
An ITA Airbus E3 3200. This was too cool seeing at Miami not to get a model of. The blue is just majestic. You can just see it through the camera there. So that's just beautiful and way too good an opportunity not to get it. So that's a beautiful aircraft right there. We have a KLM Boeing 777-300ER. This is a beautiful aircraft. Glad to have a really good KLM example here in my fleet. Might have to get a 787 sometime, we'll see. A two-way Boeing 77-9. Definitely really glad to have this aircraft. It certainly didn't end up getting used how I thought it would, but it's certainly been a great addition. So definitely glad to have that. Turkish Airlines on their Boeing 77-9. This has been really awesome to have. I really like Turkish, so definitely glad to see them right here. And overall, they look really good with their offering right there. We have the South African Airbus E350-900. We just wanted aircraft from the region, so that's why I chose this one, but definitely on the hunt for some more aircraft in that region, as it's probably my least represented, so definitely need to get more aircraft from there in the future at some point, but still looks good with that particular model. Uh, for Emirates, we have the Boeing 777-300ERs. We get started here in the Middle East. This aircraft looks really nice, so definitely about to have that one. And we have the Airbus E380 100 for sentimental value too, so very glad to have both those, and overall they look really great here in the fleet. Here's the Qatar section, as this has certainly expanded over time. Interbus E350-900 in the one world livery that my mom surprised me with, so that one looks really great. Interbus E350-1000 that I got way back when, when the normal livery was too hard to find, so definitely glad to have this one from Phoenix. And here's that normal livery that I finally got from Aviation 400. What a beautiful aircraft that is, so definitely very delighted to have that here in the fleet. And the Boeing 777-300ER, very similar to other aircraft, just an impulse buy. It looks so good, and I've seen it so many times. So overall, this whole fleet of Cutters looks really good. All four of them look fantastic here in the fleet. Very happy about the Etihad E350-1000 purchase. This was quite a quality addition, and it's a great model, so definitely glad to get that one right there. And the Air India Boeing 777-300ER, of course, with the Stillwater reference. No passing up on having this in the collection. That's quite a cool aircraft right there. Here's the ALL Al Boeing 747-400. This is a really cool aircraft that I unexpectedly got, so definitely glad to have that one here in the fleet right there. And let's take it on back here to the second to last row, as we have this Royal Danian Boeing 787-8. Really cool aircraft, glad to have that one, and certainly a nice addition for that region. Now on to Australia, we have this Qantas Boeing 787-9, an Airbus E380 by Phoenix on the right. Both are beautiful aircraft, very glad to have both. You can kind of notice the A380s, obviously, don't really fly much anymore, but what can you do? So all of these newer aircraft are doing a very good job here as well. It's a TD Nui Airbus E340-300, Boeing 787-9 here. The 340 was a great deal, and 79 just looked amazing, so that's why you have both those here with both liveries, so definitely glad to get to represent that. That's really cool. Eva Air Boeing 777-300 ER, got this at Spot LAX out of all places, but after seeing it so many times, no brainer to get it, so glad to have that. We'll take a short intermission from our wide bodies to get these narrow bodies, including this Peach E320 that my mom surprised me with for Christmas one year because it, looked, it had pink on it, so that certainly is a great addition, so glad to have that. The TIE 737-400, really cool model from uh, uh, Miniature Models, so glad to have that. And the China Southern McDonald's MD-90, thank you Aviation LES for that, it's really cool. And the big uh, aircraft to go right next to it, the Airbus E380, another good surprise model, model by Mon, so very good job by her to get that aircraft. Air Premium on the Boeing 787-9 is a really cool model here from JC, so that's certainly a very nice one right there, it looks pretty good. And we have the Korean Air Boeing 787 This aircraft's also very good, so glad to have it here in the fleet, and it looks absolutely awesome. Very, very nice aircraft. NA R2D2 Boeing 787-9. NG did a really great job on this aircraft, so I'm certainly very glad to get to exhibit it here in my fleet. Same song, second verse for the Japan 787-9. However, this is a really big asset for Dallas, so definitely really glad to have that one, even though I'd probably need a 333 or 350 now, but hey, it all works out. And as for the ANA, maybe they'll start flying to Dallas. We might get lucky. We'll see. Three final aircraft to round it out. We have the Cathay Pacific Boeing 747-400. Another one that uh, Texan Airplane Store convinced me to get. So there we go right there. And we have the Azula A330-900 Neo in the pink livery. A really gorgeous aircraft. So certainly really glad to have that offering. And the Airbus A350 because I got a good discount on it for Cyber Monday. Ended up getting a free model out of that purchase. So... Yeah, another Azul, but what can you do about it? It certainly does the job. So that is the international fleet. I really hope that you all enjoyed it. I think it certainly is looking really good. We still have a long ways to go. Again, Africa certainly needs more representation. I'm sure there's some other regions that could use some work, but certainly much better from where it's been previously. I'm certainly very happy with the progression. Still working towards it. Want to get uh, additional offerings here, but overall looking really good, and I really hope you all enjoyed this. So with all that being said, everybody, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. My name is Redder of Aviation. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Just process. Do you love and love you do. My name is Redder of Aviation. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all soon as Redder of Aviation is signing off.